create door with layers. Let's say I have several objects. It's a plane, a sphere, and let's add a cylinder. There's several ways to add stuff to layers. One way, let's have the sphere select selected for example. But on the side these are layers area. If you don't see this, you can always press Control A until you get to this area. It'll mark channel box slash layer editor. This one on the end right here, the create a new layer and assign ob selected objects, it'll automatically create a layer and automatically assign this object to that layer. You can always check by turning on the V, which is uh, visibility. And that makes that object automatically part of the layer. Unlike in Photoshop, when you create something, it automatically does not add itself to a layer. You have to assign it into a layer. Here's another one. Create new layer and click on that. This gives you an empty layer. If you want to add an object to that layer, I can select this uh, cylinder, for example. I can right-click on the layer, add selected objects, and now it's assigned. Let's say I want to add an extra object, I can always select another object, right click on it, add selected object, and now there's two of them on the layer. Now let's say I change my mind and I want to take this object outside of this layer and assign it to layer 1, select the object you wish to remove, right click on layer 2, remove selected objects. Now it's no longer part of layer 2, and I can right click on layer 1, that selected objects and now it's part of layer one. What are advantages of layers? For example, if I don't want to ever accidentally click on the plane in the background, I can click on this little extra box on the side. If I click on it once, so let's do uh, layer two. This is called template view. This makes the entire thing become a wireframe that you cannot select. Typically used as a template. So let's say you have a uh, modeled head already or modeled object and you only want it there as a template so you can look at it but not really uh, touch it or have it get in the way you have it go into a wireframe mode I'm going to go show and hide the grid so you can see it click it once again this puts it into a locked mode this is the, they use the letter R for reference so referencing I can click on it and you notice it won't select it I can select everything else but that this makes it very useful for working in layers that way it's similar to in Photoshop when you lock your layer. Now in here, you just call it reference. Click on it a third time and refreeze that layer. You can do whatever you want with it. Other um, things that are really useful is, let's say for example, I want to select both of these all the time without always having to select around. You can right click on your layer and go select objects. It'll automatically highlight all the objects and select them, the ones that are part of that layer. You can also empty the layer. This makes it so that there's nothing part of the layer anymore. Let's say you created a layer and you didn't want it anymore. You can right click on it, delete the layer. It's no longer there. Let's add each of these to their own layers. Now they're all called layer 1, 2, and 3, and it's kind of hard to find out which one's which. You can double click on any of those names, which pops up the edit layer, and you're able to basically rename it. Let's find out what layer 3 is. Layer 3 is a cylinder. I'll call this uh, happy, or actually I would call this the cylinder uh, mesh. That way, you know it's part of, it's a mesh object instead. Alright, you can do that with all of them too. I'll call this, um, guessing this is the sphere. Sphere, mesh. Normally I don't put all these layers on a separate thing. I don't have meshes, etc, etc, or uh, character mesh on it, but this is a great example nonetheless. you notice there's a bunch of colors next to it. Let's say if I click on red, what does this do? Notice my wireframe turned red. Green, the wireframe turns green. Can make this um, purple. Make the whole thing purple. This makes it easier to decipher specific objects. Let's say you're working on a huge cityscape and you want a certain amount of buildings to be highlighted in a certain color. So you go to wireframe view, you can see all of it.
I can move my layers up and down using this little stack right here, moving up and down. Well, it makes no difference which one's in what order. I guess it's for purely organizational purposes. And that, that's pretty much how you deal with layers.